Spider-Man 3 from 2007, the last film of the Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, starring Tobey Maguire as Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, and Kirsten Dunst as Mary Jane Watson. It's been a couple of years since the events of Spider-Man 2. Peter now lives in an apartment and is having trouble getting his life together, being Spider-Man and all, and has somewhat gone emo. And the villains he has to go up against here are the New Goblin and Venom. Which, after it absorbs Spider-Man, it gives him this awesome-ass black suit. So, yeah, there you go. So, when Spider-Man fights in the form of Venom, he's more powerful. But that's with Venom taking over his body. Oh, my God! Spider-Man's possessed. Okay. Call in the experts. No. And what we get here, aside from the villains, there's also the Sandman in here as well. What we get, aside from the villains, is a very subpar, a, a very... Yeah, a third instalment in a trilogy which isn't very good, despite its director and actors. It's not very well written. So the first time I've actually criticised the way it's written. So... So, yes. Spider-Man in this might have well, might just as well have been fighting a giant number three. But that would have been meta. That would have been meta, um, meta comedy. Uh, me, 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 you know what I mean. If you don't, then. Talking about barracks. Well, there's not much else to say. So my opinion of this film is is not very good. And I know that's the opinion of every one of you out there who's seen this film. So guys, next time. We're going to be looking at the first of the other non-MCU Spider-Man films. The Amazing Spider-Man, starring Andrew Garfield. Until then... If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And have a magical. Sorry. And have a damn magical time!